everyone good morning good evening good afternoon good night wherever you are so it's a saturday morning and we are preparing for the ladies prayer picnic i've woken up i feel like i am going to have this red eye thing if you don't know in mombasa there's an outbreak called the red eye i can see my eyes acting so weird on me i feel like i have contracted the red eye <laughs> And I'm so scared, but you know what? I'm gonna carry specs uh, just in case. Shout out to the owner of the specs, Wendy. The funny story is this I went out with friends, we were just hanging out, and uh, this cute lady forgot the specs in my bag. And I've been working with that thing for like I don't know how many like three months or two months. Um, so I'm not a person who like randomly buy specs, so I think that specs has come in handy like these specs are here for a reason so i'm gonna carry that it gets when do you see that spec yeah nikonayo don't worry nikonayo i'm hoping to meet new ladies i'm hoping to meet new faces i'm hoping to see beautiful beautiful ladies and just changing my perspective learning and unlearning so i'm gonna take you through the entire thing Okay, the background thing of it, all the things that will be happening, not all, but whatever I can capture, whatever I'll be able to capture. Yeah, and I hope you guys will enjoy. at butterfly pavilion and i'm waiting for the other so i came early because i wanted to check out uh on which particular place we can sit and have a good conversation and have a lovely conversation and just you know have that moment where we are not interrupted by anything so yeah i'm here and i'm checking out which is the best place for us to sit remember it's a picnic and people are going to sit down so we're going to use our lessons to sit down and just you know have the the prayer session and all that yeah so come with me let us check the best place for us to sit okay stepped on this uh oh my god i stepped on something and they're really eating me up like really really eating me up i don't know if you can if you can see this oh my god they're eating me up like crazy like are you seeing them so guys uh this is the place i have seen that I think can be a very good place for us to sit. It, it looks good. Um, the grass are greener. The grass are greener this side. And I think we can sit over here. The other place we sat last time, there is a, there's a meeting going on there. So obviously we can't go and sit there. So yeah. But the problem with here is that uh, we might be disturbed by these creatures. You guys can see them. You see? You guys can see these creatures. It's really, really stubborn. Guys, uh, I'm just coming here to invite you the next time for the ladies' prayer picnic. It's a good thing. I don't know how long it's going to last, but what I know is that currently we are doing the prayer thing and just inviting different ladies to come and pray together, to come and, you know, just share the word of God and uh, have some games here and there. So that is uh, the main reason for doing this ladies' prayer picnic. And to just you know give a little background of how it started so there's a point in my life where i was really really hurt got hurt by 
not by people but in a place where I felt like I was safe and I thought about how many people do get hurt in places where they feel safe like you know churches you know places of worship let me just say in general places of worship in our homes and like we have different places where we feel safe and sometimes we get hurt by those uh, people in those places and I was just like you know so many of us are hurt out there I'm not the only one this is not the first case nor will it be the last case right? I know that so many of us are going through whatever I'm going through maybe just in a different way so I thought about it and I said you know what I can start something that uh, we can build a, a, a system where we are able to run to God you know by ourselves you know so that at least will minimize the chances of being hurt in our places of worship because sometimes we get hurt because that's where we feel like we we idolize some things because we do not have that uh, relationship with God ourselves so we do not have that one-on-one -on -one relationship with uh, with God so we feel like maybe the people who are in authority are are talking to God on our behalf and really God does not do that God allows us to talk to him directly we don't have to pass through anybody the people in authority are there and we're supposed to respect them but you also need to uh, have that relationship with God one-on-one -on -one. so many of us are, are hurt by you know uh, people that we depend on uh, most of the time that particularly was one of the things that made me think about having this particular time where we come together we seek God we get to learn how to seek God we get to learn how to have that time with God and have that relationship with God and you know what to get to meet other people who are also going through stuff and say we are both going through stuff we are both vulnerable but we are saying that we are coming here to acknowledge that God is there and we can go to God anytime we want for ourselves building that relationship with God and also just having a sisterhood um, where you can run to someone who has um, the same mindset as you because sometimes we do have friends and I'm not saying that uh, it's bad having friends who believe in other things but it's also good to have even if it's not your best friend even if it's not like your closest friend but you know this person is there when I need someone to talk to or when I need assurance that God is there with me. Someone to remind you, someone to tap on your back and say, yo, it's okay, God God has your back, right? So, yeah, basically that was the beginning of uh, this thing and I didn't want it to be something serious, so I wanted it to be, let's pray and also let's have time to talk and interact and get to know each other. So that's a picnic, basically. You can carry your snacks, you can carry anything that you want if because uh, we don't want you to... Uh, to be hungry the whole time because you're not providing food but then we are not telling you not to carry anything that you want to carry so we looked for a place where it's suitable for picnic and that is butterfly pavilion so this is a place where it's nature and nature is everything there's a lot of trees a lot of small animals to butterflies and all that and there is a quiet moment that we need that quiet moment that reminds you that oh listen this is God's creation and so we picked this it was perfect and i and, and i posted on, on on my tiktok for the first time and we got to come like i mean that was around eight seven people eight people and it was awesome we did another one and that was um around 15 people let me say and then now we are doing we, we were to do another one but because of um the weather in Mombasa it was raining heavily and there was a lot of flooding so we had to cancel and plan it for another time and that's why we are here today this is the third one and we hope that people are gonna come so yeah
is Joyce. Our name is Mecca. <laughs> the mother superior of the group. Yeah. <laughs> Say hi, guys. Hi, I'm Adelaide. Aww. P. Yeah. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Something. Tell them something. We had a good time today. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. It was amazing. We have really enjoyed the day. They should not miss next time, by the way. But then you miss. Bona. <laughs> we have our baby here. Hi. Our last born. So cute. Hi. <laughs> Say hi to. Um, this is a nice experience. Mm -hmm. You should come and join next time. Yeah. Tell them your name. Oh, my name is Suzuki. Okay. <laughs> See my eye. Are you seeing my eye? You seeing it? Yeah. But the day was okay. So I've been wearing this thing by my by someone. Hi, Linda subscribers. Hey, hi. So we just concluded the ladies' prayer picnic third edition today mm -hmm, at mm -hmm. Butterfly Pavilion, mm -hmm. and it was awesome. Yeah, we prayed. Mm -hmm. We had intimate times with God. We yeah. worshipped. We shared, and we became so vulnerable in the spirit. Mm -hmm. And hey, I shall not be mume pito. Lakini, we have another fourth edition coming up soon. Mm -hmm. Linda, at our update, it's coming soon. And then, stay tuned. This year. We are growing big in big. the Lord. Soon on our walk over walk over is fun. Watch out to Onesha. To Onesha. Walk over is fun. And it's women fun. growing in the Lord is just it's the, the best, best feeling ever. Ever. So just come, come the you way are. you are. As you are. Mm -hmm. And just listen to the Lord. <laughs> this girl is beautiful. Ah! Now wow. Now Grace. Now Grace are big. Are big. Are big. Are big. <laughs> 